Hi, my name is Nino Leitner. I'm a DP and director based in Vienna, Austria. Now we are going to look at the ACE in action, some of the little details that really make it the best in class. First of all, let's look at the ergonomics. Both of the brakes are easily accessible, so you really don't have to break your fingers to use them. The same is true for the position of the drag controls or the balancing knob. The ACE head is very versatile, so for example, you can tilt 75 degrees up and even 90 degrees down. That means you can shoot things that are lying straight on the ground. Let me show you some examples of how to use the drag control system. For example, you can switch it to zero, both vertically and horizontally. Filming like this is now a very popular style of doing pseudo handheld shots. The great advantage of having steps on a drag control is that, for example, if you're coming back from a handheld shoot and you put the camera back on again, just looking at the steps that are already set, you already know how it will perform. You can also choose the level of drag resistance depending on the speed of the pan or tilt that you are going to perform. In this case, I have set it to level 3 because I want to perform a very slow pan that should be as steady as possible. The relatively high resistance of 3 allows for a very precise movement. The advantage of the two brakes is that they are operating completely jerk-free. So after you do a movement and pull the brakes, it just stays in place as it's supposed to. 